Hello and Namaste. I have something interesting for you all to share with. If you see on the leftmost side, we see a tweet by the Mumbai police, which actually warns of using the mobile while driving by saying that if we are going to use the mobile, it's Yamraj calling. We also see the latest Ministry of Education tweet, which is about the awareness of the COVID vaccination. And very pleasantly surprised to see that it is also an offtake of the meme, the most viral trend currently. Uh, that is called as Pari Hori Hai. Uh, that's about uh, how this is us, this is the vaccine, and this is our vaccination drive, is what the meme is, uh, it's this particular post about. And it is also a very, very viral trend. So if we were to set a viral trend, we would also be saying uh, something which we will see in the breakout rooms. Also, we can see that there is another tweet by Ministry of Education that um, talks about or that publicizes the innovation by one of the PhD students along with his professor from IIT Madras. So we have here one warning, one awareness, one publicity. And at the right hand side, we see an amateur astronomers club and a post on its Facebook group by it, one of its members who actually has mapped the constellations uh, using the telescopic photography. And this can be excellent resource to be uh, used in the science and the geography classes. So what are we actually talking at? Are we talking about Twitter and Facebook and other things? In education, for education, yes, this session is actually going to be the social media as a pedagogic resource. And here am I, Ajita Deshmukh, from the School of Education and Research, MIT ADT University, from Pune. Now, we are going to talk about a lot of things in this particular session, and we are going to actually even have hands on. So, let's see what we are going to do in this session. We are going to discuss what is the concept of social media and what are the distinguishing features because there are lots of misconceptions that need to be addressed here. We are also going to see that if we were to use social media in education and for education, then how would the choice depend upon? We are also going to see the educational implications of using social media as a pedagogic resource. And of course, the most important things that you have in your mind, obviously, that is about the security and privacy. Yeah, we are well aware that there would be a separate dedicated session for cyber security. So we will be doing certain basic things because using social media in education for education itself could be a little bit mind boggling for many of us. It could also be like thought to be controversial for many of us, but well, it is not actually so controversial if we come to see that the tweets have been the Twitter and the Facebook, we have been seeing this. And in fact, uh, most of the government constituent units also have their own Facebook pages, their own Insta pages, and their social media handles. Almost all the colleges, all the schools, they do have all these things linked in with their own social media handles. So we are also afterwards going to see the demonstration with two uh, social media in particular. One is going to be the Facebook and the other is going to be Pinterest. Uh, we are taking both of them and it's not just going to be demonstration. We'll actually uh, make you also use this. Let's hopefully see how we can do that. So as we proceed ahead with this session, I want to ask you one question and I may be conducting uh, I'm going to conduct a small poll for it. We have been using WhatsApp like now it's become an integral part of our daily lives with the moment we wake up most of us the first thing that we do is we check up our emails and our WhatsApp messages especially after the COVID this has become we want to send a message it's there and now with the financial transactions also being enabled well WhatsApp has become one of the most integral parts of our lives as well. But the question is, is this a social media channel? Just take a moment and answer the poll. You just have to say yes or no. It's your opinion. Let's see.
you can also as an afterthought you can also type your answers in the moodle platform if you are not going to reply just now or maybe you have to change your mind after the afterthought okay so well it's not so if it's not then what is it so here are a few diagrams on the left and the right which hopefully should give you an idea let's see well the whatsapp the facebook messenger the imo the talk and google hangout what we used to call earlier as well as skype all of them are placed on the left hand side it's different while facebook google plus pinterest linkedin twitter many of our blogs even soundcloud all this is placed on the right hand side so there has to be some difference right so let's see what are the differences so when we talk of whatsapp facebook messenger or hangout they are not social media they are messaging apps what is the basic difference let's see first first things first that you can message to people only whom you know so you can whatsapp to people if you have their phone numbers so the group is going to be smaller it's going to be people whom you know already so it's going to be either one to one that is individual to individual contact or it is going to be a communication between one person to a small group when i say a small group i definitely mean a small group a small group means 250 as in case of whatsapp or maybe a few thousands when we are talking of telegram but essentially it is a communication channel between small groups and individuals and also it's not supposed to be promotional so it's not supposed to tell or promote your own ideas your own um, what do we say your own businesses and one of the most important factor that distinguishes it is it doesn't have analytics maximum what you can do is you can see who had seen your message or those who haven't read your message that also you can switch off you if you switch off the read receipts but when we talk of social media well social media is open for a wider audience it's about you it's about your image you as a person what are you it's supposed to connect you to a wider audience to people whom you do not know okay uh, while the messaging apps is only about contacting people whom you already know then it's from one to many type of a communication like you post it and there are going to be multiple maybe thousands and lakhs of people who are going to see your post so it's always called as one to many communication it's a broadcast it's the main purpose is to broadcast broadcast what you do what your views are what your opinions are what your achievements are what you do in your life you are broadcasting to the world and you are also connecting to different people whom you do not know earlier thus increasing your sphere of influence and thus making contacts to do this you have pages you have groups and you have stories yeah you have stories even in whatsapp and that is why definitely the boundaries are blurring but a few things haven't changed like you promote yourself like i said it's you it's your image your business image your personal image you as an artist you as an educator what's your image what are you like okay and what is your image that you would like to project to people and the most important thing is the analytics and we are going to talk about it much more in details so let's have one thing very clear so if i'm going to be sending certain things over whatsapp or maybe over telegram i am not using social media i am using a messaging app now why do we need to know this uh, we are going to talk about that that why do we need to even know this how does it matter it matters a lot because basically the social media is supposed to be interactive it's going to be two way okay but uh it's a web to tool so you can edit your profile you can make your profile online well you may say that whatsapp is also uh, allowing you to whatsapp or telegram when i say it any messaging app also allows you to have a uh, online profile 
well not all of it you can't put your entire profile what's maximum seen is maybe your photograph your name and whatever you put up in the status okay nothing more than that but your profile is much more than that your profile should talk about what your hobbies are what your expertise lies in what and where have you worked earlier it's something else coming up all that is your interactive web2 tool and people should be able to communicate with you as well over your views your opinions even you without even you asking them okay that's the major thing other than that it's the user generated content that means you write what you feel like yes you do that even in whatsapp you do that even in um facebook but facebook when you write it's your own so you, when you go live on facebook it's your particular thing when you go live on youtube it is user generated content we are not not just passing uh, forwarding what we have already received okay so it's the user generated content or the ugc as it is called it supports variety of media now this is where the boundaries are blurring that you can actually you know pass on uh, this particular point as it's already there in the messaging app it's also there on social media just one thing that social media most of them as of now do not support pdf so the media support is the most important thing but the most important thing that makes it a valid pedagogic resource is the analytics now this is absolutely not there in any of the messaging messaging apps now what do we talk of analytics when we talk about insights that how much has my post reached how many views have i got so all these are called as metrics so what are comes under metrics how many people have downloaded the thing that i had given on my website on my channel on my facebook how many people have shared how many people have viewed how many people have clicked on it i'll get all the metrics not only that i will also come to know how long people viewed my video did they bounce back so i can find out my engagement i can see the interaction that is happening and if as an educator if i can i mean if i hone my skills enough i can use this comment section as an excellent discussion forum that we see in the online courses and the best part of this is we can actually curate the content which will allow us to have some amount of lms type of analytics and of course there are lots and lots of other things that can be there like the social media we can have a poll uh in the groups on the pages we can also have opinions we can ask for lots of things like recommendations and etc 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 which unfortunately is as of now it's not available in the messaging apps no polling no mcq questions you have to create something else then and go ahead and ask so these are a few distinguishing features that allows us to you know uh, say that we can use this for educational purposes because we as educators actually want our students uh, we want to know how many of our students have watched my video has downloaded the assignment um, how many of them have interacted with me how many of them have answered the question how many of them have interacted with their peers how many of them have really watched the video and so on and so forth so these are the analytics that we actually are looking out for as an educator and that is what is actually needed so this makes social media this gives a very fair valid argument for using social media in education for education and we are going to see a little bit more as we progress ahead do we have any questions here or do we have any doubts here then you can of course unmute yourself and ask or you can also type in the chat box and i'll try to answer maximum questions that are there if we don't have any questions up till here then we can proceed ahead
So just let's take a moment to I'll just look at the questions that have 